there's a study that studied data, not artifacts. Data. From one century of data. Of these solar instruments. And the data said to, to them, and it's reflecting on the study, that all the major earthquakes on Earth during that period, that is large to us, from our perspective, Sumatra, Japan, whatever, higher than six magnitude that occurred during that period, each one of them, if you look to the sun in that moment in time, the sun had a corona hole, a big corona hole in front of us, in front of the Earth. Facts. There's nothing that to argue here. It's a fact. Now you can say, oh, that, that's a coincidence. Cool, that's a coincidence. But it's a fact that they were there. And it's also a fact that I was here during Corona Halls. Man, some people were saying in the comments, you are a prophet or no, man. I'm just a guy that analyzed that, that valued that, that didn't ignore that study. And that then a, a, every time we have these color, Corona Halls, man, most of the times we have um, magnitude six or higher earthquakes on earth it doesn't have to occur every corona hole didn't have an earthquake associated but every earthquake had a corona hole associated the opposite you see weird stuff then there's other thing it's not one study many 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 studies man we have already and the usual blinders will pop up saying that's not uh, true because mm, mainstream didn't study it man you don't have to to wait for their narrative man to put that in the white list it will be in the future for sure in a white list from them they just don't put that in a white list because it's not of their interest it doesn't match the narrative they want to boost right now it's all very crazy the world for the ones that are new here, I studied a lot the sun here, and it's the effect on health and on earthquakes as well that the sun has. That's true, man. There are loads and loads, tons of studies that correlate the solar activity with earthquakes and that correlate the solar activity with human health. First, for the ones that are skeptical, we don't know how an earthquake exactly is triggered and we don't know when and where it will occur actually if we knew think with me think with me but you are smart if we knew when and where a volcano will explode won't we warn everybody there in that region to run away from that region and save them the lives of those people won't we do that but we can't do that that's why sometimes it occurs and people suffer with it that's because we don't have the knowledge to understand it so if we if we don't have the knowledge to understand it on earth how can we deny loads of studies saying that the solar impacts affect it? Moreover, we have proof, evidence of that everywhere. So, be careful denying what is already studied. It's not into the narrative because they don't want, for some reason, right now. They have other narratives on weather. You know. I can't speak about that. It's forbidden. But, especially, especially in shallow earthquakes, so many that we see here that are 10 kilometers depth on average, 10, 30, around that, are shallow depth. The, the sun, with those charged particles that enter into the earth, that go beneath the earth can trigger something that is already a 
about to occur. And they even measure on the United States and Canada the electricity, the sh those charged particles underground. They measure that there. And when we have solar impacts, it's all over the place. I showed them here loads of time, man. It's facts, man. I don't understand why people keep denying things that are more than proved, man. Right now, you can see here, the blue is low activity, low charged particles underground. When we have the impacts, this turns yellow, orange, and even red, and comes down because it comes from the top, because it's the North Pole, it's where those charged particles that come from the Sun enter in the Earth. And here this region has at the west, at the east coast here, is always more affected because of the characteristics of the stones there. The geotic characteristics are different. That's why they, and this loads of studies that so when you think it's uh, a myth that, no, it isn't. Uh, but Tiago, and about the health? Loads of studies, I have videos about that, and I will do more because people need to be reminded about that. There's people that, because it affects the, the blood pressure on us. That's why it messes with, with the heart. And we don't understand why, but studies show that especially in women, affect more women, and we don't know why. It has to be with the blood pressure, then the addicts, then the sleep disturbances, then the tiredness, then something that helps is grounding, and it's logical, because you walk in bare feet on, your gra on the grass or the, the beach or whatever, on the sand, bare feet in, in natural places, hot on cement in natural places that those charged particles are inter interchanging with your body and the earth like a tree hang on in the tree as i do so often it will help you to stabilize your charged particles it's nothing weird man your brain and mind work with charged particles between neurons only people with one neuron can deny that after so many studies. It's what I believe. Now you can doubt because you don't know. But after you know. That's the problem. Because people don't know about this. Because they don't talk about this. And when they don't talk you know what happens. It's invisible. It doesn't exist. It's what they are doing with reality. We don't talk so it doesn't exist. That's why the crowd doesn't know about reality. The crowd just know what they want them to know. If they don't talk, it doesn't exist. It exists in their minds, things that they want to exist in their minds. Like that narrative, that other one that you, yes, on television, and that other one that yeah, all, always hammering on television. Those are the narratives, some of them fictional, that they want people to, to care about and think about. All the rest doesn't exist, man. It exists for you because you are different and you don't rely on television. While people don't wake up from that. So yes, it affects the solar activity. Now, how much and why and how and do we need them to study that? More and more, but it affects. Some people are more sensi sensitive than others. Well, there's something that mainstream study it, but they don't talk about. It's about the um, electromagnetism. There, there's and there's a disease associated, and you can have uh, an approval or a paper from a doctor about that disease because it's well already well uh, spread it about the sensitivity that you can have of electromagnetic uh, stuff. But that they have because uh, of the rotors and the antennas and things like that. There's people that can't live in a house that is near antennas. 
for instance. I saw documentaries about that as well. Me as well, Raham. I only watch uh, YouTube and social networks, but I, you have to have a you gotta have a good filter. Imagine someone from the crowd suddenly they enter. Just ask them what they do. They think, oh, social networks. Oh my God, that's poison, because they don't know. They they are not capable of swimming in the social networks, man. You do. You know. You have a a filter. And you will polish that filter over time, as I try to do, because it's very hard to swim here, man, on social networks, because it's full of crap as well, because the greed is here as well. 